Hi and welcome to the session. Today I'll help you with the following question which says in a class test the sum of the marks obtained by P in mathematics and science is 28. Had he got 3 more marks in mathematics and 4 marks less in science the product of marks obtained in the two subjects would have been 180. Find the marks obtained in the two subjects separately. Let us proceed with its solution. In this question, we need to find the marks obtained in the two subjects, that is, in mathematics and in science. And we are given that the sum of the marks obtained by P in mathematics and science is 28. So that means, if we assume that the marks obtained in any one of the subject, say mathematics, is x. Then the marks obtained in science will be 28 minus x. So here, first of all, we will assume that the marks obtained by P in mathematics be x. Then. The marks obtained by P in science will be twenty-eight minus x because sum of marks obtained. In mathematics and science, is twenty-eight. Now we are given that had he got three more marks in mathematics and four marks less in science, the product of the marks obtained in the two subjects would have been one hundred eighty. So, according to the question, if P would have got three marks more in mathematics, that is, the marks in mathematics would have been x plus three and four marks less in science. So, the marks in science would have been twenty-eight minus x minus four. Then the product of the marks obtained in the two subjects would have been one hundred eighty. So here we got this equation, and now we will solve this equation to get the value of x. So first of all, this implies x plus three into here twenty-eight minus four will be twenty-four. So twenty-four minus x is equal to one hundred eighty. Now let us multiply these brackets, and we will get 24x plus 72 minus x square minus 3x is equal to 180. So this implies minus x square plus 21x is equal to 180 minus 72, which is equal to 108. And now this gives x square minus 21x plus 108 is equal to zero. Now, to solve this quadratic equation, we will split its middle term, that is minus 21x. So, this will give us x square minus 9x minus 12x plus 108 is equal to zero. Here, minus 9x into minus 12x is equal to 108x square, and minus 9x plus minus 12x is equal to minus 21x. Now, from the first two terms, let us take x common. So this implies x into x minus 9. Now, from the last two terms, we will take minus 12 common. So we are left with x minus nine equal to zero. Now from this 
we will take x minus 9 as common and we will get x minus 9 into x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, from this we have x minus 9 will be equal to 0 or x minus 12 will be equal to 0. That is, x will be equal to 9 or x will be equal to 12. Now, we assumed x as the marks obtained in mathematics. So, marks obtained by P in mathematics will be equal to 9 or 12. So, here we have two cases. Case 1 is if marks obtained in mathematics is 9, then the marks obtained in science will be 28 minus 9 that is 19 and second case if the marks obtained in mathematics is 12 then the marks obtained in science will be 28 minus 12 which will be equal to 16. Thus, in this question, the marks obtained by P in mathematics and science will be 9 and 19 or 12 and 16. Thus, here we have found the marks obtained by P in both the subjects separately. With this, we finish this session Hope you must have understood the question. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.